welcome to Little Workroom Crafts. My name is Davina and I live in the southeast coast of the UK. Today is Monday the 6th of May 2024 and this is episode number 100 and oh gosh I've just looked and all 182 gosh anywhere you can find me will be down in the description box and anything that I mentioned today will also be down in the description box. Today here in the UK is May Day so it is bank holiday. Yes. Elmi, my baby boy, is there on the windowsill, bird watching. I'll just show you. See his tail? <laughs> We've got a, a flat roof. Our kitchen roof is flat. And the pigeons run up and down it. And <laughs> he likes to sit there. <laughs> and look at them. I know, I know. Bless him. He's my baby boy. Right then, okay. First of all, I would like to say a big, big, big hello and welcome to everybody. And thank you all so much for all the kind comments and well wishes that I got because I was missing last week. Yes, you had a week piece of peace. <laughs> a week without me. My goodness me. Um, what can I say? I spoke to you on the Wednesday, didn't I, beforehand? on what have you been up to Wednesday and I just went downhill. <laughs> I was absolutely fine until I had the um, the uh, spring COVID booster, but every time I have one, I seem to get worse. But <laughs> there we go. That's all I'm going to say to that. But yeah, I'm getting there now, getting there. So yesterday, oh, I couldn't believe this. Yesterday, quarter past four in the morning, a certain somebody wanted to play ball. Yeah, he's not hungry, he just wants me up so we can have cuddles and we can play. And uh, <laughs> it was uh, when I got up, and I, um, it was obviously still dark at quarter past four in the morning. So we got up, and then we had time, um, play time, and cuddles and stuff. And then we both had our breakfast at six. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And by the time of quarter past six, because <laughs> Glenn got up. Um, I had done a load of washing, put it out on the line, and I had a cake in the oven. So, you know what I mean? I was absolutely exhausted by lunchtime, because then we had to go out and do some shopping, food shopping. I thought, oh, dear me. What a day, Elms. Um, anyway, he, we, um, when I actually got up and I could hear the morning chorus, and I thought, oh, you know, after it, I'd heard it. And I thought, damn, I should have gone out with my camera and, and recorded it. So last night, <laughs> I thought to myself... Tomorrow, today, if it happens and he gets me up, I will go outside and record it for you. He quite slept until quarter past six. <laughs> I can't win. I just can't win. Oh, dear me. So, yeah, so we never got up this morning today. Hey, ho. <laughs> right then. Okay. So, obviously, last week there was not a lot going on. I spent most of the week in bed, but I did do some crafting. Uh, yeah, uh, let's have a think. I do. Oh, I have a new start. I know. Another crochet blanket. The pattern was launched, I think it was last week, actually. And as soon as I saw it and I thought, yes, I know I'm doing my Nimu, Nimue, Nimue. Um, and I'm, I've finished the centre and I'm doing the outside squares now. And but that needs a lot of thinking where this one isn't as you don't need to some thought into it. So it's an easier one. Oh, my gosh, I can't put it down. I really, really can't put it down. So I'll be showing you that. I have done some sewing. Um, I have done some progress on Glenn's socks. And there was something. Else. Oh, and I did a little bit of cross stitch. So I'll show you. I've started the house on my autumn cross stitch. So we have a lot of uh, crafting to show. Was there anything else I have to do before we actually go into the craft? <laughs> oh, and I did have a little shop update because I had some stuff made. Uh, the Strawberry Jam collection. And I'd like to thank everybody that um, brought from that. There is one. Yeah, one DPN Cozy left in the shop at the moment. Um, fingers crossed because the pre-order that I did month before last for the fabrics for the uh, for this month's yarn cozies 
they did say early May, so fingers crossed I'm so looking forward and I've already pre-ordered them for fabrics for June. There's one there that I have actually doubled up on because I know I said to Glenn, look at that. I said, I'm going to have to get two lots of that. I said, because I know I'm going to need some more than just the one. <laughs> so, so cute. So, <laughs> yeah. So the next couple of months is really good fun with the yarn cozies and I will be popping bags in every now and again like I normally do. Right, then that's enough of shop talk. <laughs> um, is there anything else before I actually go into things? I don't think so. We're supposed to have rain this afternoon. We had a bit of rain this morning. And then it's supposed to be nice all week, which is nice. Which actually, this is pretty good for us here in the UK when it comes to our um, bank holiday. <laughs> Only having showers, that is pretty good. <laughs> Normally we're not that lucky. <laughs> oh, no, we're not. So, um, yeah, right then, anyway, let's hop right into the crafting, shall we? First of all, I'm going to do the sewing. If you remember, for my birthday, Glenn brought me some fabric, gorgeous fabric, as black with different colour cat, cutie cats on. And, uh, yeah, and if you remember, I, I know I have promised to do a tutorial, which I will, but I'd like to make a few bits uh, a, a few of these things before i actually put it out there the techniques are the same but i just want the measurements to be right so if you remember i made this notions pouch with this gorgeous gorgeous fabric that was gifted to me by my dear dear friend is his friends elaine and buster hi hello elves here he comes you can have a tail in a minute there he goes <laughs> and um yeah so it's all done by hand even the zip is even put in by hand so you know that's just it's just an easy little way little hexagons on the end and it's like the quilt as you go technique so i made this one and i used it and i've used it and i've used it and when i actually got the fabric from glenn i really thought well i'll make another one because i would like it shorter so that is the new size. It's more, it's more compact. There is the, yet again, the hexagons on the end. There's my two charms that my dear friend Teresa bought me. I got that one for my birthday and that one for Christmas. <laughs> so, uh, and it's got a pink zip. And obviously you've got all the, the matching grey. And it fits absolutely everything that you need honestly it is oh but as i say it's shorter there we go it's shorter and i prefer the shorter size myself so i'm going to be using it for a little bit more uh, a few more weeks or so and make sure that i am actually happy because i've written everything down um for this one but as i say i like to make a few to make sure <laughs> that um I've got it all right so but yeah honestly oh I do prefer the shorter one and they're just brilliant honestly they really are they say the amount of stuff I'll show you here at the end actually of exactly what I have got in this little barrel it is just brilliant it really is okay then right so I've made that I also made out of the fabric myself because I hadn't had got one this size a project bag I made that and I also made I've got a little bit of the fabric left I also made the large bag with a pocket at the front for enough yarn for a crochet blanket which I'll talk about that in a moment so that's all the sewing I think for myself anyway I think that's the sewing I've done Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, yes, I've got a little bit of the fabric left over. So, um, I will be... I'll try and find something to make with it. I really will. Right then, bees we're on the sewing. Let's pick this up. And I'll show you. It's only a little bit, but I have done some. My dear friend, Helen. Hi, darling. She gifted me this beautiful primrose stitches primrose cottage stitches uh, leaves of autumn pattern look at that that is just adorable and a 
if you remember a few weeks ago I said that I was going to start I um, was onto the house and for some reason I didn't have the house thread so I had to order some but um, I, I what I've done is I've put in the grass I've put in the sorry <laughs> I've put in the grass and I've started the house and in under there is a lot more <laughs> as well under my grime guard so yeah so I've started done the grass there we go and I've started the house in here it's like an orangey colour look so it's like an orangey colour no yes it is that's the one I'm doing <laughs> and then I'll do the big sunflower there and then work my way across I think or underneath but yeah oh I'm loving this absolutely loving it it's fine so I haven't done a lot but I have done some <laughs> so I thought I would show you that so that's actually all the stitching yes right now I'm going to show you Glenn's the, the progress I have done on Glenn's uh, socks here that I'm making now on this one I have actually done the complete heel turn oh god dark come on and I've got the light on and all let's see if sometimes that will do it. there we go <laughs> so uh I decided to do a heel flap and gusset this time so I've done the rest of the heel, heel flap I've actually put the gusset in on this one guys are they adorable I got this for my birthday from um Susan and Paul hi oh my gosh they're so cute and um I've gone back to the old you know how I started on in a little nine inch circular and uh, yeah I just thought why not I just wanted to do something different and then on the other one I have actually uh, put in the heel, heel flap, and I'm still just doing, still putting in the gusset on that one. So, oh, I'm loving it. This is Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit yarns, but as I say, they do not die no more. And I can't remember if I'm sure I would have kept this here somewhere. I know I would have done. I tried to find it the other day, didn't I? Like, oh, it must be downstairs in one of my other ones. Yeah, but it is. A, but say so she doesn't die anymore, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I think he will like that colourway. I really will. I just do normal two by two rib. Uh, I do actually do sixty rows from there there for him, and then he's he'll flap and that. So uh, yeah, I am. I'm really enjoying these. They're easy pick up when I'm not, you know, don't want anything too much to think about. So yeah, that's the progress on my socks for Glenn. Right then, now we are going to go into the Nimue by Shelley Husband. Oh my word, I am loving every minute of this blanket. Yes, you have to think a lot, but the st oh, and I've said this before. In this book, you have US, UK terminology, left-handed, right-handed pictures. You have graphs, written pictorials. At the end of the book, you actually have a code um, where you go into her web onto her um, youtube where you can get all of um, tutorials for the rounds which i will say i have used that quite a lot i had that has been so helpful and oh i have just loved every minute of this blanket i got the, com the center completely finished make sure my boy ain't behind me <laughs> so let's uh so that is the center completely finished oh, I tell you, oh the stitches the definition in the stitches that you do and oh my goodness it is just amazing and then I have to do 24 of these squares to go around the outside so I have done the first row <laughs> and they're pretty squares they really are pretty squares and I have done three of the other end and then I'll do the two long ones. 
so oh, I just love it absolutely love it to bits I really do so that is it oh my gosh <laughs> oh I, I would recommend her patterns honestly they you know I as you know I get the book the books um, from world of books so mine are used but when you look at them you wouldn't think they were used <laughs> you really really wouldn't but that you know what I mean oh they're just brilliant they are amazing amazing books they really really are so I keep it all in here to keep it clean you see so I'll put that back in there and then I'll put that there so I know it's got to go back downstairs right then now <laughs> let's get on to the the new cast on the pattern is in my folder now I have crocheted one of um, this lady's patterns before do you remember was it called firework or bonfire night or something it was a couple of years three years ago i think it was i did it for rebecca it was all black and bright colors wasn't it and it's wood thread paint she is um up in scotland and honestly i love her patterns i really do she is another designer which are so good with the patterns uh, she really really is so uh, let me show you as i say this one was launched i'm sure it was last week the beginning of last week oh it comes to rain again and glenn's just gone to work oh dear but just it's actually called the seed packet blanket oh hang on because it's got video links there so i don't know if that's there we go i'll better hold that just in case look at that that is just amazing isn't it absolutely amazing so this is the actual front cover of the pattern now i get her patterns off of her etsy shop i think it is but i'm assuming she'll have them in there at ravelry and all that but i just that just directed me into etsy but look at the colors honestly it is just amazing now let's do some talking about this pattern right okay so now in the actual pattern she did hers in the pebble haze by i should know because that's what i'm the same brand as what well. yarn smith that's it because that's what yarn smith is what i'm doing my nimu nimu a in right then so um <laughs> Now, the you, Wool Warehouse obviously is back in her, which is absolutely brilliant. And you can buy kits uh, on Wool Warehouse for the blanket. Now, obviously, the uh, Pebble Haze is 50 grams uh, a ball, so you do actually need to buy, uh, you know, a lot of balls. And um, it, I looked on their website. They'd sold out anyway, but I wouldn't have got it anyway. It was like £106 for the kit, and that's not including the pattern. And But they were doing it on offer for, I think it was £90-something pound or something like that. And, and I thought, no, 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 no. Not for a blanket. That just cannot be done. But the good thing about this is that she has actually given you a conversion for the colours, let's see if I can find the picture without giving anything away. There we go. In Starcraft Special DK. Yes. <laughs> so the top ones are all the purple haze, and the bottom ones are the Starcraft Special. So I looked at that and I had lipstick anyway, um, a whole ball of it, because obviously they're 100 gram balls and you need 100 gram balls. And so I had a 100 gram ball because I weighed it of the lipstick. So I, rather than buying 19, I brought 18. And obviously with our little discounts that we get, you know, because I think every one of us has got a discount code of some description with Wool Warehouse. And uh, it was like, and because that was um, over a certain amount, it was postage free and I think it was 30 something pound. So I said to Glenn, I am going to treat myself because I am just so in love with this blanket. 
and um, he said, why not? So I did. <laughs> now, um, yet again, you have graphs, not graphs, you have layouts. I don't want to give away too much. This is of um, what you need for each of the cent squares, what colour. Now, the, I can't remember her name, so please forgive me. Um, but the designer is um, given because I think she's done um, she's she's done hers in the yarn smith, but she's bought a conversion. She's actually done her own colours. So in the pattern, she's just named rather than naming two lots of everything. She's just given her own colours, so um, so everybody can follow you know the pattern with one colour which I thought was absolutely brilliant. So what I did is I had these um, tags, which Colleen, my dear friend in Texas, sent me. Hello, sweetheart. Um, cool, a while ago now. And I've kept hold of them. And I thought one day they'll come in use. And they have. <laughs> so, for instance, it's got wisteria, which is the stuff. Obviously, I'm using Stylecraft here. And I'm not using the Yarnsmith version. Um, so it's, she's got... Um, wisteria which in her in the pattern she's called lalic so that's all i've done you know what i mean is, is some of them are the same cloud blue she's bought pale blue so you know what i mean it's that denim is denim you know what i mean so they're the same they must be the same across the board you know so she has just named a few of them some of them say the same lincoln for instance light green you know what i mean so you know, she just put in like her own version of a colour, so she's only had to put it in once. So, um, I, what I've done is, as I say, is I've made my own tags. I've got my own little samples here, and that is how I have organised the, the colours. Now, <laughs> in the actual centre parts of the blankets, which is these in here. There's 36. So what I have done, and every square has five rounds. And they are, uh, you, you, you know, you have the option of join as you go. And I must admit, I do like the join as you go when it comes to something like this. So in my little pot here, <laughs> I, these here are the first two rounds of nearly half of them. And this is the third round <laughs> of most of them. So, uh, yeah. And then, so once I've done all the third round on these, because uh, the four or five is in the same colour, so I will, um, you know, go round, do it, and then on, I'll do the first one, number one, because they're all numbered 136, Number one, I will do as, you know, as a finished square. Number two, I will do this, the round one, two, three, round four. And then round five is where I will join as you go. And another thing is, because I don't want to give away too much because it is a paid for pattern. But look here. Um, there's even a graph that she's given on the order in how to um join it all you know in the join as you go method it's absolutely brilliant and also she yet again she does have videos on youtube as well for you to to help you along so you know what i mean it's absolutely brilliant oh here we go marion marion so hi marion sorry <laughs> oh dear i forgot you weren't your name uh, but yeah, on it, I can't wait to get this centerpiece finished and then whee, it's round me and around and then put more little squares on and oh, I am just loving it. The colours in it, well, as you see, I'll have to show because all of them are in yarn cosies, but um, these are the colours that we're using. Look, oh, they're just brilliant. So, but if you don't mind, you know, wanting to use uh, a Stylecraft special, for instance then um you know opt for that like i did because i just couldn't justify over a hundred pound or nearly a hundred pound because it's on um offer uh, you know for a blanket i just couldn't do it but the stylecraft special and oh, i love stylecraft special for blankets and stuff they're absolutely brilliant yarn it really is so it's used of using a four mil hook and they're the pretty colors 
so I am just loving this so much I can't put it down <laughs> so I have got a nice bright fold up from B&M to keep the pattern nice and safe I'm trying to remember it was quite a hefty pattern actually how many pages was there I um obviously I did the oh gosh we're still going <laughs> I am um, printed off the the last one which you know you you probably didn't need to you wouldn't need to but I did because I wanted to show you the blanket in its full glory so it is 24 pages and as I say it's brilliant there's pictorials it's a brilliant brilliant pattern it really really is so loving that and these came in a pack of four yeah two pound I think they were I thought that was good so that's handy for patterns isn't they but I wish it would stop going dark <laughs> so I have the light on curtains are open but hey ho it just keeps going dark so yeah I just love it absolutely love it so now I am going to tilt you down and show you what I have actually fit in my little book in my little um, notions pouch oops if I should undo that that might be easier no wrong one. <laughs> oh, that's that bit I remember now oh my god right there we go right there we go okay so I had my shade cards yes they fitted in there I have my um, hand balm I have stitch my cat stitch markers in here is my two darning needles. I do I wear a support when I'm crocheting because I'm left-handed and I crochet right and I'm not used to using me that so much. These are absolutely brilliant, I will say. Now, they are sold specifically at craft shops, to be honest, and oh, they just keep your thumb and everything so supported. They can be quite expensive, but I managed to get hold of some when they were in the sale, when they were in, because <laughs> they weren't selling for some reason. And uh, so they reduced them in the shop that I worked in. And they're brilliant. So I've got about three or four of them, I think. But they are brilliant. I, can't, I don't know the name of them, but I suppose if you could put in hand support for crafters, that might come up, just so you can see. And they are washable. They're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So I've got that in there. Obviously, nail file, because the last time we went to the garden centre, um jack's broke a nail and none of us had a nail file so i thought right i've got some nail files now for when we go <laughs> tape measure um in this tin i have that kind of stitch markers in this tin i have that kind of stitch markers i have the new emma ball glasses why because obviously i need to clean the glasses ah uh, dear i have a pencil obviously my crochet hook and a pen i have two of these for some reason i don't know why <laughs> in the in here um, i always carry uh, this is a three mil hook now this is to go with my other project but i keep it in here anyway and two highlighters I have a rubber just in case I mark anything on a pattern that is wrong and I've got these little snips I've had these absolute donkey's years and obviously my scissors now I've got all this <laughs> all that in this little pouch and there's still room honestly so please keep on bearing with me on this because I do like to you know make a few and perfect it a bit more like I say I've changed the you know, look at that and there's still room there's still room in there with all that in oh hang on and the whole thing including putting the zip in is all done by hand so bear with me I will be doing a tutorial on this I definitely will I just absolutely love this pouch and now I've got the the length right I will be um I think the shorter one is definitely better um so and then uh, I'll definitely be making more for myself definitely I just think they're so cool 
Oh dear me. Right then, okay, let's lift you back up again. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a bit better. Yeah, that's it. So, yes, I just love that little pouch. I really do. And it just sits on my um, trolley by the side of me. And I just get everything that I need for my crochet blanket. My knitting ones, I must admit, they are my ones that have been gifted to me. And they are the um, Harris Tweed ones. I've got two of those that have been gifted. But uh, this is my crochet one. And I absolutely love it. I really do. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right then. Okay. So I think that's going to be it for today. Um, I am taking it a bit easy. So, and, um, you know, taking things a bit slowly after last week. I do apologise. But I just, well, I just wasn't, you know, I spent most of the time in bed. And it knocked me for six. It really did. And talk. Oh my gosh, you can't understand a word I was saying. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon in this household they were happy <laughs> for the peace there yeah, dear me i don't know anyway yeah so i'm going to go downstairs after I've, after i've edited this i'm going to go downstairs and i'm going to put some more rounds on those little squares which is in here my little <laughs> basket thing i made years ago and uh yeah i am um, gonna chill for the rest of the afternoon so what did i do this morning oh i see i did a customer order i remember now <laughs> i think what did i do this morning i remember now yep i did that so yep so oh it's coming in foggy now yeah it's really weird living by the sea when the fog rolls in it the temperature drops dramatically and if you actually go down at the seafront when the the fog you can see it rolling in off the sea it's amazing it really is and the temperature just goes like a fridge it really does and then all of a sudden it goes warm again it's really weird it really is but it's supposed to be nice for the rest of the week but we'll see <laughs> we will see right then okay as i say i think that is absolutely everything i don't think i have forgotten anything at all oh yes i have i have now Call a while ago now, my dear friend from, oh my word, my, that's Anita from Gaga Knits. <laughs> Hello, Anita. Sorry, sweetie. She made me a, in, oh, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? I want to say it, but I don't, I know I've got it wrong. It's when you make, uh, like, plant pot holders and, Oh, my Grammy, my Grammy, my Grammy. I don't know, something like that, isn't it? My Grammy. Anyway, she made me a gorgeous one. And I had a real plant in there. But it kind of, it, I think that's where I had it. It just didn't survive. It really didn't. So it's been empty for a while. And then yesterday when we were out, we had to pop to B&M. As I said, I got me, me folders and that. And Glenn said, why don't we get one of these? Oh, my gosh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little video of it. And I'll put it over, and it's sunflowers. I know it's artificial. I know it's artificial, but it's going to be up there, and it looks so pretty in the window. So I am going to say, put a little video up, and so you can see the um, my new little plant of sunflowers in my little plant holder. It is my grandma. My grandma. I can't remember the name of it now. Oh dear me! You're all going to be screaming at me, aren't you? <laughs> um but yeah so i am so chuffed with that up there i really am <laughs> so right then anyway i'm going to disappear fingers crossed if everything goes to plan i will be back on wednesday we have some gorgeous gorgeous as always what have you been up to wednesday yeah so <laughs> i will be back on wednesday so please please take care stay safe and as always my lovelies happy crafting bye Thank mm -hmm. you.